What's going on everybody? Trev Wilson here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch. Today, we got another head-to-head -head battle. This time, we're going to be doing one of my all-time favorite bottles. Uh, this is easily in my top 11 bottles that I've ever had. This bottle has been no stranger to the channel. I've talked about it. It's won other battles that it's competed in. It's just, it's freaking amazing. And that bottle is Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. And its competitor is going to be Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Store Pick. We're just gonna find out, are the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Store Picks better than the regular on the shelf offering? Like I said, this is easily one of my favorite bottles ever. Uh, it was something I kinda slept on, I kinda just passed it by, just because a uh, regular old Jack just has a bad rap of, you know, that's just for mixing and coke and whatever. So, uh, their single barrel offerings though, the barrel proof, the regular, the special uh, limited release rise, the single barrel rye, all of that, all of those offerings are really good. So, this is my first and only Jack store pick. Uh, I guess, I don't know how prevalent they are. I don't really ever see them, so maybe parts of the country you might not see them either, or you might be hoarding them from the rest of us. This is a huge shout out. I've had this bottle. I've been milking it for a while. Good buddy of mine, Dramhound, got me this bottle just because we don't get them here again. Uh, been nursing it, so shout out to Dramhound. Be sure to follow him over on the Instagram page. One thing I really like about Jack Daniels, their, their picks, they come with a little, little necklace on there. That's it. Marketing. I'm a sucker for marketing. I mean, it is kind of annoying, you know, moving the bottle around, it, it kind of lets you know. But, I mean, it's just cool. It's got a barrel on one side, it's got what store picked it on the other. It's just cool. Other than that though, the bottle is exactly the same, so I'm guessing that's what they do for their store picks. So if you want to know if it's a store pick, look for the little necklace. Another fun fact about today's battle, um, the store pick is 131. 0, 0.0 proof, uh, and my regular on-the-shelf bottle is 130.7, so they are right there next to each other, so not going to be too much variance in the proof, so that shouldn't be a giveaway or anything. What we're going to do, just like all the other ones we've done, the glasses are blinded in front of me, I'm going to drink through them side by side them, uh, see how they compare, see how they're different, and ultimately pick which one I like better. We're going to find out. Or the Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proof Store Picks better than regular on the shelf offering. Just like every other video, I'm gonna preface it right up front. These are both single barrels, so results could vary drastically. These are just between my two bottles, so let's get into it. Both of these, I don't know which one is which. Uh, glass A. Absolutely delicious. Tons and tons of caramel. Tons and tons of vanilla, a little bit of nuttiness, and an extra layer of sweetness that I always call banana. But like banana nut bread. And I say that a lot too, but man, I friggin' love banana nut bread. Total dessert. It's like you drop an ice cream scoop on top of that too, okay? This is just dessert in a glass. It's absolutely amazing. Tons of brown sugar, cinnamon. This is just dessert heaven. I have diabetes just from smelling this. On the palate, a little bit of toasted oak shining through. Again, tons of that sweet, those banana notes. The, there's a little bit of nuttiness coming in. Another thing too, it kind of has a little drying thing. I've actually called this bottle before that it was a wine finished bourbon. Uh, it reminds me of some of the other ones where it kind of kind of takes a little bit of the moisture out. And I'm guessing that's just some of the oaky tannins. Uh, that it's picked up from the barrel doing that, but it does give me that effect. Just kind of parts of my tongue a little bit drying. Nothing over the top though, it's not off-putting uh, by any means, but it is there. All right, let's go straight into B so I can just get my palate acclimated to it, and then we'll side-by-side -side them real quick and uh, see how they're different. Glass B. Now, this one, uh, I'm smelling a little bit more oakiness, like a charred oak, the toasted oak. Uh, it was there on glass A, seems to be a little more turned up on glass B. A little brighter, so I think it's a little sweeter. So that, that bright banana note, 
is a little sharper, if that makes sense. I, I, I'm trying to explain it the best I can. I always say it's bright, but it's a brighter, sharper banana note that's just kind of piercing through all of those dents, like the brown sugars and the, the barrel char and stuff. It's kind of poking its way through on the palate. Hmm, it's weird. The nose was indicating maybe it was gonna be a little more banana forward or something. The palette on B is a little oakier and a little nuttier. You know, that nutty flavor might be picked up from the barrel, so they might go hand in hand. I'm getting oakiness and nuttiness. Maybe they just go hand in hand, but the nose was kind of having me lean towards sweeter. The palette was not. It was kind of the opposite. It was a little bit more barrel uh, than the sweetness. Let's just go ahead side by side them, directly smell both of them, and then directly taste both of them. See uh, what notes aren't shining through on one of them, okay? A and B. I can tell these are definitely the same. It's not so drastic to where I say this isn't even a Jack Daniels. One of them being a store pick, uh, some of these videos, they don't even smell anything like each other. These I can tell, they're just versions of each other. Um, I feel like glass A is a little more put together, and I only say that because I'm getting a little bit more on the nose. I'm getting a little more of the brown sugar, uh, some sweetness, and then let's taste them. Yeah, A to me, the total package. Nuttiness, uh, banana sweetness, tons of brown sugar, tons of cinnamon, that little bit of the drying thing from the oak, not off-putting, but delicious. And then glass B. Again, the, the thing that really stands out the most is that it, it seems lighter. And I know that these aren't age stated and I'm pretty sure they're probably both the same exact age or close to it, I'm not sure. But A just feels like an older version of B. A feels like it had a little more time to, to come together, become a cohesive drink. B. Those flavors are there, but they're just not quite together. I can see the puzzle, I can see what it's supposed to be. We just don't have all of the pieces connected yet. But I say it's just the big brother to Glass B, that's what it is. So, if you can't tell, I think I'm gonna put A as my winner. It just seems cohesive, and it, it's there's so much going on. There are a lot of notes happening. Glass B, some of those notes might be there. They might be muted with some of that oak, that oaky, it's like a bright, new, fresh oak that I'm that I'm smelling on B. Might be hiding it a little bit. I still enjoy it. I still enjoyed both of them. Uh, but when you're doing head-to-heads, someone's gotta lose. All right, let's find out who's who. You guys should already know, because I edited it in the video. But my winner, Glass A, Regular, on the shelf, Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof, baby. For 65 bucks, hard to beat this sucker. Really dang good, man. Just goes to show you that you can get really good stuff on the shelf. You don't have to wait in line and sell your soul. Again, the barrel proof version is good. Uh, this one, you know, it might just be my barrel. Uh, the regular on the shelf one was just a hitter barrel. Uh, it seemed a little bit older than this, which is weird. I don't know if these are actually aged. I don't know the range of ages they use for their barrels or how old they can get, but it really does. It feels like an older version of this guy. And, and for that, I had to knock it. Uh, if I wasn't doing this side by side, I probably wouldn't even notice. I mean, this stuff's still good. Every bottle of Jack Daniels I've had is good. So every, every barrel, so, you know, I typically, when I go back to the store, I'm typically not buying the same uh, bottle from the same barrel as my last one. So, they've all been good. Don't think you can go wrong with these, to be honest. So, there we have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have a Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof store pick, let me know what you think of it. How does it compare to your regular on-the-shelf offering? Let me know in the comments. Let me know where you're at to get them. Like I said earlier, we don't get them around here. In fact, I don't really see many people posting pictures or talking about uh, Jack store picks. So maybe it's something they don't do that often. Uh, maybe limited quantities. I I'm not sure. If you like the video, 
hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, hit the bell notification to be notified when I'm going live. I go live every Friday, 7 p.m. Central. I release videos each week. Be notified when all of this stuff happens so you don't miss out. And until next time, guys, I'm Trev Wilson. I'll see you in the next video.